Hey everybody, um, today I thought I would show you really quick how to um, do some really easy and really pretty envelope art. I was making some of these up and thought I would just do a video really fast to show you how to, I do it. Um, I learned how to do this from Dee Dee on Ustream and it's coffee art in the morning, coffee and art in the morning. She's on Ustream um, and it's um, Inkwell is her, her name, but she showed us how to do this one time. She has a wonderful show that she does on Ustream and is an amazing artist and the techniques that she shows are fabulous. Um, but this is just really easy, easy way to jazz up envelopes. I'm going to try to do this for you really quick. My kids are upstairs playing, uh, fighting, you know, how that goes. So, um, I just have a bunch of different sprays here. I've got the Adirondack Color Wash and then a couple of the Delusion sprays. So all that you do is grab some envelopes, any size, whatever you're going to use. These are just security envelopes. And pick out a few colors. I'm going to do, let's see, let's do pink. You just spray it on your mat. So I got pink and yellow and a turquoise. And then you just take your envelope and lay it down. I'm going to use my roller thingy there. And look at that. Isn't that awesome? I'm going to put it back on here again. And you don't have to use a roller. I just do because it just gives it more even even roll on the on the envelope or I guess more, kind of more coverage you can do it with your hands too I'll do the next one with just my hands so there that's how you get the color on there and oh gosh excuse me um oh my allergies have been awful um let's see I'm going to take just a piece of deli paper and sop up that extra because I don't waste any, any, any of this stuff. And I love doing this with deli paper because then I just layer this on all sorts of projects. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off because there's still quite a bit on there, see? And let's do blue. This is kind of a plum. And I'll do yellow. This time I'm just going to dab it on there. So just kind of lay it on there and push. So see so you get quite a different effect. You can also spray this with some water. I don't know if I have a water bottle down here. But see that's a lot more splotchy than having it rolled rolled on. Something else that I like to do, especially for the envelopes, let me get this up. Um, just kind of try to plan it out a little bit. I like using these big flower stamps on mine. This one's from Stampendous Jumbo Clean Rubber Stamp. It's the peony. So I know that I want my flower to be like right here on this envelope. So you can do this two ways. You can grab some more envelopes. You can either spray it, spray the color directly onto your envelope. So let's see. So here's my flower. I'm going to kind of do a splatter of yellow and then just spray some pink on there. And I'm going to let that dry. We'll come back to that in a second. Or you can do it on here. I'll do yellow and I'll do some of the purple.
and I know that I want it to be on this side of my envelope, so I need to flip it over and make sure that I do this side. And I'm just going to push it down. Good, we'll get that up. But the thing you have to remember about doing envelopes is you can cover the whole envelope with color, but you will need to um, print out or write out the address on a piece of white paper and then tape that onto the front because the address has to be written on um, white white paper so that it can be read by the machines. So then I'm going to grab this one. I don't know if it's totally dry, but it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to use just some black ink. This is just archival ink. Sorry, you're wobbly. And then, you know, I did the yellow here to kind of be this part of the stamp. So I'm just going to lay it on there. Push down really good. And there you go. I really like doing it that way. Same thing on this one. This one is kind of a bit different. I'm going to do it this way. I put the yellow in the wrong corner, so the light part of my flower is on this side instead of in going inside to the envelope. And there's that one. So those both look really, really cool. And then back to these, I like, I still like adding some stamped images on this. This one needs more stuff on it. Let's do some pink. You know, I just might spray it on there. There. I really like using this dandelion one. Or, I don't know if it's dandelion. I guess it's not. Um, I really like using this flower on the cards. I think this is Hero Arts. I don't have the original package to it. But just the same thing. Just stamp it with some black ink. I always stamp on deli paper just to get, you know, it just adds more texture onto that deli paper and eventually this, the paper, the deli paper, I will use it on something. Even if it all gets covered up, I still like having just that, the deli paper with all the stuff on it. So there's that one. Really, really quick and easy. Another thing that you can do is I've got this stamp here. This is an old, it's pretty old. It's from Hero Arts. Um, it's called Real Poppy. And with this stamp, I like to deli paper. And I've got some gelatos here. And with this stamp, I really like to do a watercolor with it. I'm going to get a clean paper, a page of deli paper. So I'm just going to use some yellow. And some pink, and some red, and if you haven't ever used gelatos before, the easiest way that I can describe them is it's almost like a cream eyeliner pencil or like lipstick. That's pretty much the texture of them. Um, I was going to use my Neo 2s, but I'm not really quite sure what happened to them. 
Um, but this works great with gelatos too. But you just, after you color it on there, spray it with a little bit of water. Let it sit for a second. And then just stamp it onto your paper. And it gives a really, really neat watercolor look. Isn't that pretty? So then I'm just going to do it again. I hear people coming downstairs, so it might get noisy here in a minute. I hear footsteps. Yep. I'm being summoned. Okay, let's spray this one. You can actually stamp these a couple times if you get them good and wet. I didn't get that one wet. I didn't let it sit long. I got it wet, but I didn't let it sit long enough. Because you want the uh, gelatos to, you know, to get wet so that they're like paint. Okay, yep. They're starting to argue. Um, so I'm going to finish this up really quick. So I just rubbed it really good with the gelatos, get it good and wet, let it sit there for a second. And sometimes I just kind of tap it around with my finger to make sure that it's starting to work. And then stamp it onto your envelope. That one turned out really good. I put quite a bit of water on that one that time. So see, really pretty, really easy. I've got this little snail mail one that I like to use, just because it's fun. I mean, you can do all sorts of stuff. There are some amazing, amazing things. But I like just kind of keeping it simple. And, uh, you know, just so it's a little pretty when you send. RAKs or whatnot, but for sure, and the and these, and the, this one for sure, I will write out the address on a piece of paper and tape it on the front. And the same with mine too, um, my return address, because you don't want it to just get lost in the mail or held up because the address isn't showing up right. Um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this really, really super quick little tutorial, just on how to make some quick and easy and simple and fast envelopes. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.